Okay guys, if you're watching this video, it means that you are trying to figure out how to install mods on Minecraft 1.6.2 or the latest version of Minecraft. Now this tutorial should work for the next few updates of Minecraft because the software will be updated as it goes. Um, but I'm just going to go through the steps of installing it and what you should do and everything. I know that there are a lot of tutorials out there that kind of skips steps or it leaves you hanging and I'm trying to help you so if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section below I will leave that enabled and you can private message me if you'd like okay so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna open up your browser wait for that to load and then you're gonna want to open Google or any search engine and then you're going to want to search Forge Mod Loader. Okay? And when you get that search, you're going to want to click MinecraftForge.net. Okay? There are a lot of ways to download it. It doesn't have to be MinecraftForge.net, but that would probably be the best one to do. Okay? So you're going to click that. And when this opens, you're going to see a buttload of stuff. Okay? This stuff doesn't make sense. Okay? This stuff down here these are all the old versions so what you're gonna wanna click is you're gonna look up here and you're gonna wanna look for the latest installer okay that means that it's going to do it for you so you're gonna click this it's gonna send you to add add fly or whatever I really like add fly it's not spam don't click any of this stuff you're gonna wanna wait until this says skip okay when it says skip add, you click that, and it will automatically stop start the download. Keep the file. It's not dangerous to your computer at all. It, this is just my computer trying to keep my computer safe. Whenever I download something, it does this. But it's completely safe. You're going to want to just hit keep, and when you hit keep, it will install. Um, you have to have Minecraft opened at least once, and what that means is you have to have it least played Minecraft once and if you're trying to download mods I'm assuming that you have tried to play Minecraft once and if you've done that all you're gonna have to do is click install just click this and it will open up uh, I'm, I'm apparently downloading it again I've already had it before it should open this okay if you open this you hit install client okay I've already done that so I'm not gonna hit okay but once you hit okay it should say that it worked all that happened okay now you're gonna want to open Minecraft and now you should have a little option right here that says forge now when you click forge you hit play it will install everything that you need for this next step so hit forge and play start up normal Minecraft stuff just like normal you will see different stuff because I have already installed this on my computer Okay, it, th this is a texture pack, but it should show some Minecraft Forge stuff in this corner, all this stuff, okay? And then you will have a mods button and all that. So, once you do that, quit. Okay, now, whatever mod you want, the Forge mod installer works for a lot of huge mods, such as Zan's minimap. Uh, crossbow mod like big mods that have been going for a while um, a lot of mods have you have to install by yourself such as mo creatures mod that is a self-installed one this is the simple way to get a lot of big mods okay so once you have that in you want to go and then you're gonna want to go back to Google okay and search winrar when I have the I click this one it says winrar.com slash download in HTML this is what winrar looks like right here okay it's three little books I I have it on my desktop so that easy access um, uh, it's it's so that it can open zipped files um, it's the whole deal that you have to do with it just click English or whatever you speak and then don't click any of this stuff click continue to download winrar winrar okay this should just start up don't do this it starts up okay 
I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Once it downloads, it'll say, oh, you downloaded it, thank you, thank you for doing this, and then you will have this. I recommend putting it on your desktop just for easy access. Now, you can go to your favorite place to get mods. My favorite is Planet Minecraft. You can just search it on Google. I have it as a favorite because I go to it a lot. Go to mods. The most popular and most downloads are going to be the ones that are easiest to download. Zan's Minimap is insanely easy to use, which Forge Mod Installer, okay? So, you click Zan's Minimap, and now you click Download Map. Now that you have WinRAR, it opens it like this, okay? You see the little books? Now it will open it like this. You open it, hit back, because this is all the stuff inside of it. This is all the stuff inside of the zip file. This is the actual zip file. All of these are zip files. Okay? So now that I have this open, I want to just slide it down here for a second. Go to, I have Windows 8, but go to your Start menu button and hit Search. Mine is up here. Okay? It's the same Search button, but yours is in the bottom left-hand corner. Mine is in the another screen because I have Windows 8. Um, you're going to want to search percent app data percent. Now it will show you roaming. There's a dot Minecraft folder at the very top. Double click that. Double click mods. I have a bunch of mods installed, but all you're going to want to do after that is you're going to want to slide this into here. Just like that. Okay? I already have it in there. See? Mine is right here. Exact same file. Look, exact same file. Except when this one says you for some reason. I don't know. Exact same files really easy now you have the mod now you do this with any other big mods uh, it's different for every mod I've tried it for a bunch I like just going through and seeing which ones will actually work with forge mod installer because I've installed mo creatures mod and that is a pain in the butt and also it takes forever it it's hard to do and it takes forever and it's hard but once you do that you should be able to go into your mods I have a bunch of mods going, but this is the mod that you have installed if you followed this exactly. And it now works in your Minecraft, okay? I have, it says 9 mod mods active. It should say 3 or 4 because the, install, the Forge installer is a mod itself. So if it says 4, don't be all, don't be all worried like, oh, I didn't install 4. What is it saying? Uh, it's supposed to be like that. And you just repeat the process for other uh, other mods. You just go to mods, download it, place it in there. Percent app data percent dot Minecraft mods slide it in. That's it. A lot of these will work just just like that. And some will even say Forge like that. Forge mod, Forge mod loader. I should be able to find another one in here somewhere. Um, yeah. Forge to my loader. See, that one will work like that. It just automatically works for a lot of them. It's the easiest way to do it. It's the way that I do it. I don't do it manual install. You used to have to, but thanks to this, a lot of it is just all automatic. But if this... Oh, I don't want it like that. <laughs> if this helped you at all, please leave a like. If you have questions, I will answer them to the best of my abilities and the fastest that I can. Um, but yeah, hope it helped. Uh, have fun playing with your mods. Uh, see you later.